What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my top five hidden features inside the 2024 Chevy Tahoe. So number one is here on the exterior of the vehicle, and that is remote window operation. This is a super clutch feature. If you don't have it turned on or it's not working for you, here's where you go in the menu system to enable it. But basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. So you want to take your key fob and you're just going to press and hold the unlock button and you're gonna see all four windows are going to roll down. This is a great way to cool your car off really quickly if you need to in the summertime. Now, the only negative is you can't actually press and hold the lock button and get the windows to go back up. It's a safety feature that they claim, but it won't go back up. So you are gonna to have to hop in the vehicle and manually put all the windows back up. So a little inconvenient there, but it is nice to be able to control them using the key fob. All right, for number two, let's talk about the lift gate. So you probably know that your Tahoe is equipped with a power lift gate. There's a couple of ways you can open it. You can push the button up underneath its handle here. You can use the key fob double tap. You can even double tap to open just the back glass if you want to, but your tailgate is also equipped with hands-free easy opening. But not only that, it also has easy closing, and you probably didn't know that. Now, if yours isn't doing this, here's where you hop in the menu system to enable this. But once you have it turned on, it's as simple as kicking your foot underneath the bumper here. It's gonna go ahead and open right up for you. And then let's say you have a large object like my camera case here. You're carrying it and oh no, I can't hit the button. It's too far up there. I can't reach the key fob. No problem. All you gotta do, kick your leg up underneath the bumper again and walk away and it's going to close right up for you. So super convenient to have that easy open and easy close feature, especially when you're carrying groceries or backpacks or soccer bags or whatever else you may need. It makes it super simple. Now for number three, let's talk about your keyless access system. So you have buttons for it here on the driver's side as well as the passenger doors. And uh, this is great. It just allows you to push the button to unlock and then push again to lock it right up and your mirrors are gonna fold in for you nice and easy. That's great, but this can be customized for your safety. Now, what I mean by this is when you currently press the button, all of the doors are gonna unlock. And for someone that has a family, this is probably best case because you're probably gonna have kids on that side, kids on this side. You want everyone to be able to get in at the same time. But if you're a single individual, this can be super unsafe. You could press this, all your doors could unlock, someone could hop inside that side or this side. It's just not good practice if it's just you getting into the vehicle. But no issues, you can hop inside the menu just like this, go into remote lock and unlock and customize this action so it can be just the driver's door. Or if you want to and it's only doing driver's door, you can switch it to all doors. Additionally, you can customize this when using your remote to unlock the vehicle. So same options apply, but this is just when you're using the key fob instead of the buttons on the side of the doors. So this is awesome customization and will help you be super safe when driving your Tahoe. All right, so hop in here inside the cabin for number four, and that is that you can customize your digital driver display right here with a couple different options. So how you wanna find these options are you wanna scroll over using the right and left buttons here on the right side of the steering wheel over to options. Then the first one you're gonna see is display layout. Now, little bonus tip here, under here you can see left side info, as well as right side info. And you can actually customize these two. And this is what's inside of the actual gauges themselves. But you can do a little bit more grand scale, you know, customization here. If you go all the way up to display layout, you've got classic, you've got progressive here, which is a little bit cleaner of a design, a little bit more angular. You've got digital, which is again, super clean, very minimal. It gets rid of a lot of the color, kind of goes just to more like almost black and white, and then you've got clean, which is my favorite. And that just puts your, your um, speed right in the center, and then any driver information you wanna put down below that, it does that as well. But lots of nice display layout customization there. Now for number five, let's talk about this rear view mirror camera. Most of you probably know that you get a standard rear view mirror here, but if you flick this little lever, it turns into a rear view mirror camera. What some of y'all might not know is that you can completely customize this as well. So using these little buttons on the side, if you push the first one, it'll give you access to a brightness slider. So you can boost that up or dim it down depending on your liking. Check that. Then you've got zoom in and out. So you can make it uh, zoom all the way or zoom all the way in. I prefer it zoomed all the way out. I think it gives you the best view. 
And then finally, you have an angle adjustment. So you can go all the way up if you wanna see really tall cars or all the way down if you wanna see kind of what's below you. And you can check that and it'll take you back to brightness. So all kinds of great customization inside of this rearview mirror camera. And of course, I never just give you five features. I'm always gonna give you guys bonus features. So let's start with one that most of you probably know, but just in case you got a Tahoe and your salesperson didn't tell you this one, this center console on higher trim levels actually slides backwards and gives you access to a secret compartment. So how you're gonna to wanna to do this is, you may have not seen it, but it's this control slider right here. If you just push that, you'll notice the center console is sliding all the way back and it's gonna give you access to this nice rubber pad here, but it gives you this little hidden drawer right here. You can put insurance information or any documents that you wanna keep really private or you know your phone or whatever inside of this little center armrest um, pocket here. Close that right up. Then you can slide this center console back forward. and you have your own little secret compartment. Now for our next bonus feature, you have a couple different cool little things you can do with your rear view mirrors. So the first one, if you go into settings here, you go to vehicle, you scroll down to comfort and convenience, you'll notice that you have something called reverse tilt mirror. Now this is exactly what it sounds like. Now when this feature is enabled and you can customize it to be driver and passenger, just driver or just passenger, whatever you want, or off altogether. But when this is on and you put the vehicle into reverse, you'll notice that these side mirrors are gonna go ahead and fold down, giving you a better view of what's directly behind your wheels here. This could be super helpful, especially in pairing with your surround view system here absolutely clutch, making sure you don't hit anything. But inside of this same menu, we have another nice little bonus feature, and that is remote mirror folding. So let's hop outside and check it out. So for remote mirror operation, of course, you'll need the key fob. And what you basically do is if you press and hold the lock button, you're gonna notice that these side mirrors are gonna fold in. And if you press and hold the unlock button, boom, they're gonna go ahead and fold right out for you. So nice and easy way to control this. If you you know park in a tight spot and you wanna go ahead and fold those up, just in case you don't want your SUV to get hit, that's a nice easy way to do it right there. But you can also have them auto fold on lock, which is a great feature as well. But hopping back inside for another little bonus feature, you've got these two little check boxes when you first hop into the vehicle menu in settings. Now, one of them is a rear seat reminder. This again is a family hauler, we know that. So it's really important that whatever we're hauling, especially if it's family, stays safe. And the best way to do that is to make sure you do not leave kids or pets in the car. That's worst case scenario. So having this rear seat reminder enabled is super clutch. So if you turn that on and it's detected that something was sitting in the back seats, then you get out of the car, it will give you a little reminder on screen that says check rear seat. Of course, you're not gonna forget your kid back there most of the time, but if your head is just completely not in it, this is a great little extra safety feature just to make sure that you don't leave anything you don't wanna leave in the back seats. So definitely enable rear seat reminder. And then for our last little bonus feature, right under rear seat reminder, you're going to see something called a buckle to drive. This is a great safety feature, especially if you have a teen driving the car or you just wanna make sure your family is staying as safe as possible, you can enable buckle to drive. And again, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's not gonna let me shift into reverse or drive without buckling my seat belt. If I go ahead and do that, then boom, I'm able to shift into drive. So buckle to drive is a really awesome feature. You know, I think for the most part, you could turn it off if you're an adult and you know you're gonna buckle in anyway. But if you wanna make sure that everyone that drives your vehicle is staying safe, definitely enable buckle to drive. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments below, which was your favorite hidden feature or did I miss one that was your favorite? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.